Hey everybody, Sam back once again, and it's now time to do a video that a lot of people have been asking for, and that's to show you how smooth the web browsing experience is on the Samsung Galaxy S3. So, let's jump into the web browser. So obviously in this case, we are gonna use a stock browser. Now, as you can probably see, it does look like it's flickering on the screen right there, um, and that's something that it just comes off in camera. When you look at the device itself, you can't see that. So as you noticed, it is, da it is actually darker. The reason for that is because actually in the actual browser itself, it's got a brightness and colors mode. So what you can do is you can actually pump that brightness all the way up, which we'll do for this video, but then you can actually change the actual you know, default colors as well. So we're gonna have it on default, we're gonna have it on the highest brightness so you guys can see as much as you know, as much as we can. So first things first, we're just gonna to go to my website. So you go to samjpullen.com. So it's probably gonna load up to the mobile websites first of all, but we'll jump down to the actual, the main website in just a moment. So here we are, so here's the main website. If you've not checked it out, go check it out again, samjpun.com, I'll link in the description. So we'll scroll down, and we'll just show you what the actual flicking's all about, see if it's you know, see if it's any good. It doesn't have that same bounce back ability that I liked on the Galaxy S2. You know, it's something I must say that I was really impressed with on the Galaxy S2. I like that little bounce back. I don't know why, it wasn't exactly, it didn't do anything extra. It just looked cool, and it gave you that little extra, you know, coolness. But as you can see, it's very smooth in the way it actually does flick and scroll. So again, we'll go to the main website itself. So I've actually got obviously full flash on the website in terms of YouTube videos. So we'll go to one of those parts of the website and we'll see where it's like. So here it is, so here's the main website. So first things first, obviously as you can see there, it fits the actual page, you know, because with it being such a large screen, it does do that. And as you can see, you can just about make the text out, you know, again, it's pretty small on the screen. So, you know, it's not going to be the easiest to read, but you can just about read it. So, if you want to go to one of these, you know, one of these ones here, let's say when want to go to the Samsung Galaxy S3 front-facing camera demo test, we'll jump into it now, and it's going to have a YouTube video on there. So, hopefully the YouTube video, yep, there we go, so that's me. So, I'm just going to play the video, and I'm going to scroll around at the same time, I'm going to zoom in and zoom out, and we're going to see how it does perform. So, here we go. So what we'll do is we'll turn the volume up a slight bit so you can actually hear it. Shut up, Sam. So, obviously there it is. So again, we can just go up and down. You know, just basically show what it's all about. Zoom in and out. And as you'll see, the actual flash itself doesn't change. It doesn't try and reload when you, you know, when you let go. It stays exactly there all the time. And that, to me, is exactly what should happen with regards to flash browsing on a mobile device if you're going to use it. As we all know, flash is on its way out, but a lot of stuff is still used for it. And if you can have the option of having it, I'd rather have the option of having it than not having it. That's the only answer. If you don't, if you don't got the option of it, then great. But if you do have the option, even better. Anyway, we'll um, see if we can get me to show up in the background. So there we go, that's with regards to Flash on this website. Uh, my website itself, not a very intensive website, you know, it's just basically very simple. It's more like a blog than a proper website. So what I'll do is I'll actually go to a big website that we know is gonna, you know, test it, and it's gonna be The Verge. So let's do The Verge, obviously it's gonna bring us to Google. The reason why we're going to The Verge, um, which is probably gonna go to its mobile website, is because it's very intensive um, in terms of actual graphics. So once again, we'll give it a quick flick, see how it does perform. And as you'll see, it's very, very smooth in terms of the way it actually does it scrolling. So again, we'll go to the full site. And this is a major test for any mobile device because with, you know, such as the Virgin you know, and Gadget and Techno Buffalo, you know, they've got quite a lot of, you know, graphical information on there that needs to be loaded as well as adverts, etc. You know, and they all need to be loaded at the same time. So here we go. So how does it perform? Which you'll probably see. It doesn't even, it just goes, and, you know, have you got a point, you know, you, you got anything better for me? Again, pinch to zoom, you know, there's no stutter at all. You know, you'll, you'll see it. There's none of the checkerboarding that you've probably seen on the Galaxy, slightly on the Galaxy S2. You see it quite a lot on the iPhone 4 and the 4S. You know, you now, now and again, you might get a bit of a white screen, but you don't get that rubbish checkerboarding that, you know, we all hate. So if we jump into one of the articles, we'll go into this one here. Obviously, here we go again. So again, we can flick down. There's the article itself. Double tap. 
obviously you know you get it there one thing you don't get is the you know resizing of the text that it does on the HTC One X and other HTC devices um, and that kind of annoys me a little bit because when you double tap you've got to move around you know, so it's slightly annoying. I would like if Samsung could implement something like that in a future update to the browser. But as you can see again, in terms of the actual usability and actual performance, you know, you can't, you know, tap on that. You can't complain on it. It is just absolutely buttery smooth. Here we go again. Again, just showing you what it's like. You know, it loads very quickly. Pin to zoom, once again, is just so buttery smooth. You just, you know, it is pretty damn awesome. As you probably saw there, I'm going to show you in a little tips now. When you're in the browser itself, you just basically kind of, if you're on, you know, they zoomed out completely, go like that, you brings them up, you can add another one, and obviously you can do it again. Once again, you can just keep adding other ones and then flick from until it's got like a nice little um, kind of effect like that. I want to close them, just tap a little close button and close button again. So there we have it. That's just a quick demo of showing you what it actually like in terms of um, web browsing on the Samsung Galaxy S3. If you've got any other questions, you know what to do by now, hit me up down below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at SamJPullen. If you want any more of these kind of videos, don't forget to email me viewers at SamJPullen or tell me down below, you know, what else do you want to see in the Galaxy S3. Anyway, I'm going to get off this one. Again, I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like button if you did enjoy it. And I shall see you in the next video. Cheers, everyone.